Welcome to the deck of the Greenpeace ship Beluga 2. You are sailing through the Inner Hebrides, Scotland. We're on a scientific expedition to study the impact of plastic pollution on marine wildlife. These waters are a basking shark hotspot, feeding grounds for dolphins, whales and seals, and home to 20 different species of seabird. Here you can see our research team lowering equipment to take samples of seawater. This equipment mimics the motion of marine wildlife feeding on the surface. Our team took just under 50 seawater samples. We found plastic pollution in more than half. We are now on Bass Rock, described as one of the wildlife wonders of the world by Sir David Attenborough. And you can see why. Over 150,000 northern gannets live here, and it's the world's biggest colony. 90% of seabirds, like these gannets, have eaten plastic. They mistake it for food. Plastic waste can be found all over this unique island. Look around at the nest close by. Can you see any? We are now on Canna. This Scottish beach is rarely visited by people, but as you can see it is heavily polluted by plastic. Pollution can be seen everywhere around you. Plastic bottles, bags, broken pieces of plastic containers and fishing waste cover this pristine environment. Much of this waste was washed onto shore from the sea. It will take hundreds of years to degrade. Welcome to the Shant Isles, the last place on our journey. These islands are famous for their large colonies of seabirds. Look up. Can you see the puffins and razorbills circling in the sky above you? Some razorbills are nesting by your feet. All these birds depend on the ocean for food and for raising their young. But their home is under the threat of plastic pollution. We must protect it. Together, we need to urge governments and corporations to tackle plastic pollution. Together, we can protect all the wildlife that lives here. Thank you for joining us on this journey.